We store the rig in clear Alabama, covered storage as you can see, and have electricity so I can keep the batteries charged. So now I gotta wake up the, the trailer. You can see I have shore power at the storage place, but it's 30 amp. So it only run one air conditioner. So when I'm hooked up in the RV campground, I try to run 50 amp. So that means I get to carry two sets of cords. And you can see it's a quite a good run back to the where the power supply is the storage place. So I've got a real heavy duty extension cord. I think it's number eight three. The rig has a nice size uh, 12 volt refrigerator. I make this little brass uh, keeper here to keep it, keep the doors closed when we're underway. Works pretty good. You see, I hadn't even filled up the refrigerator for three nights, or filled up the freezer for our three nights stay. So, plenty of capacity for at least a week on the road. Now, the more technical part of RVing when you're trolling trailer. This is a weight distribution hit. So it, this part of it probably weighs about 40 pounds, nice and heavy, a lot of steel. Okay, now trying to get the ball of the trailer hitch under the under a hitch. I'll paint the top of it. Okay, the next technical part is these are load bearing, they're sway controlled, and they help balance the load of the trailer. So you gotta get that hooked up to the trailer hitch. There's a socket there. It also goes into the trailer tongue assembly back, back here. These bars have to sit on the top of this bracket. And you see it won't sit on top of it, so i got to increase the Next step is on trailer tongue assembly onto the ball. Then you push the latch in and you put a safety pin in the latch. Excuse me, not lifting the hitch up, but lifting the, the whole trailer in. I have, have to increase the tension by lifting the whole trailer tongue assembly up. They have electric jack, so it makes it makes it a lot easier. Next, you got to put a pin in here and a cotter pin to hold the big. Now, hooking up the cable from the. Then you need to lock up all your storage uh, container. Stairs come up, then we'll lock the door. electronic lock so I can lock it with just a button and unlock it with a combination. Okay, next step is to complete walk around. Make sure everything looks all right before you start pulling this big old trailer down the road. So I put them all the way out for towing. I got to watch those very, very closely there on the driver's side and make sure I don't hit those posts. Now I got to set the blind spot to alert. So I'm going to do that. It's conventional. So I got trailer alert on. And this also is telling me that all my trailer lights and trailer brakes are working. I got my trailer brake controller over here so I can pitch that and check and see what what I've got. Got it at 100%. I just pulled into Pickensville Corps of Engineers Campground, number 22. 
It's not real crowded uh, for a Labor Day weekend, so that's good. And you can see I got it kind of pulled over the for room for the slide to come out. So I got a lot of setting up to do, but I mean, it looks like I'm on a pretty level concrete pad here. Plugged in the 50 amp service and got all green lights, so that's good. Okay, next we set up the city water connection. So got the hose, goes all the way over here to the spigot I tested out. We do have water. So turn that on. And that provides water in the camper. Don't have sewer, but I've got 50 amp service on the electrical. And I got a little water leak here. I'm going to have to tighten that connection up. It looks good. Truck's unhooked from the trailer, but I got to see if I can level everything up. So see the bubble there? So I got electric, so we just let this thing down. And okay, I got a pretty level front to back. Now I'm, I'm on the floor here in the cab. This trailer's nice because it's got electric ones. You don't have to hand cut or use an electric drill to take them down. Now that we're stable and pretty much level, I can let the slides out. There's slide one, now we'll go to slide two. Before I let that out, I'm gonna check, make sure there's nothing that's binding back here. Sometimes the drawers catch, so I'm gonna let it out a little bit at a time. Okay, got the bedroom air conditioning going. And it helps cool off the bathroom. And the air conditioner in the living area is gone. Makes a lot of noise, but it's time to cool it off. Next step is to let the awning out. 